Hello hungry friends! Today we're making the delicious Polish barley soup. Krupnik! Welcome back friends! This is Polish Kitchen. My name is Anna and here I teach you how to make delicious Polish food. Today we're making a super simple, probably the simplest soup that exists, called Krupnik. If you're new here, uh, if you're new here, then please subscribe to our channel and let us know that you like our videos and that you want to see more. We also do a second video every week on Friday for our Kitchens Closed episode segment, segment uh, where we go out, when we go outside our kitchen and we show you culinary Poland. Let's get to our soup. If you go to polishyourkitchen.com, you can find a recipe for this delicious soup called Krupnik. And you can go two different ways, two different routes with this soup. You can go old school, like I'm going today, and cook with uh, chicken, real chicken parts, or you can uh, do a quick shortcut and just go with boxed chicken stock. You, you, your choice. But it's gonna taste better if you use chicken. Mm. That's why I'm using chicken, because grandma always did that. <laughs> but you can do your own. Uh, okay, so if you're doing uh, the shorter version with box chicken stock, you would just put it in your pot and then put all of your ingredients in it, cook it for 20 minutes until your vegetables and your uh, barley is, I should say what kind of soup this is. <laughs> so, so Krupnik is, uh, is mentioned a very simple soup based on chicken. Uh, you can go vegetarian style, I guess, too, if you yeah, just, just skip the chicken. Base. Yep. And but Krupnik is uh, made with barley, and this is this is part um, barley. It says barley groats, but this is pearl barley, um, and the the barley thickens the soup really nice. And we add potatoes and some veggies to it, and that's it. It's a very mild, simple soup, but it's very delicious. So if you're going the shorter version and just using the stock, you would put your stock, uh, the recipe calls for two boxes, so that's about two liters or two quarts. Uh, you would add that to your pot and then add the carrots and then potatoes and half a cup of uh, pearl barley and turn it to boil and then simmer for uh, until your veggies and your barley is done and then the soup is done. You have a question? How much carrots, how much uh, parsnip, and how much potatoes, you're being kind of chaotic. Okay. <laughs> but I haven't gotten there yet. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Bye, <laughs> But since I'm going with chicken, uh, I'm going to use today, uh, I'm going to use chicken wings uh, because I like that they're just mild, that they don't give uh, a super uh, a lot of flavor but it's enough uh, to kind of carry the soup. Also, if you have some leftover rosu, uh, chicken soup, you can use it as base too. So I'm using about half a kilo of chicken on the bone. It could be any part, just probably parts with bones in it. And now I'm gonna have to touch it. Ew. No, it's delicious. So that's three for five wings, <clears throat> about half a kilo. And then hands washing. So chicken, and then we need to add a little bit of salt to it, otherwise it's just bland, bland food. So I'm adding a tablespoon of salt. You can do less if you think you, you like a little bit less. And then, and then I have the, the what I'm calling a Polish trio, which is a bay leaf, some peppercorns, and some allspice hole. So I'm just gonna pop that in my soup. And you can skip this part if you're just using box stock. And I have uh, one large carrot and one uh, parsley root, raw, peeled, and just diced. So that's going to go into my stock. And what's left is barley and potatoes. But I do want the chicken to cook before I add all this. Uh, and kind of give our uh, soup a nice flavor. So I'm gonna just start it now. We're gonna bring this to boil and then we're gonna boil it for about 30 minutes. 
and that's going to be enough and then we'll come back after 20 minutes oh no i think i said 30 minutes we're gonna add our barley <laughs> why are you laughing at me after some kind of minutes. don't laugh at my jokes we're gonna add half a cup of pearl barley and mine says on the package that it needs to boil for um, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So we're going to boil this for 15 minutes, but I'm also going to add at this time, I have five small potatoes that I have peeled and just kind of did a larger dice on them. No, we mean small. These are not Those are small potatoes. American Russians yeah, or Idaho. Yeah, they're probably this big. They're like new potatoes, eh? Well, not that small. Uh -huh. And the, our pearl barley is going to thicken our soup really nice too. So um, it'll be kind of a nice and, and hearty all around soup. You have some veg, you have some meat. Um, so a little bit of protein, a little bit of vegetables, some grain. Um, we're going to let this go for another 15 minutes for our uh, pearl barley and our potatoes. Let them cook. So our soup is done. How simple is that? How simple is that? It's simple as falling off a wall. So for all the parents out there, consider consider this. I, do, I did this all the time when uh, our daughter was little. I would make soups for her almost every day. And this is such a well-rounded and uh, nice meal. You have your grain, you have a vegetable, you have a protein. And kids just love this. And this is how you introduce new flavors to them. You don't have to really think about it too much, whether they've gotten enough uh, veggies that day. You can just throw this together really quick and you have no excuses to... <laughs> yeah, and if you don't like chicken wings, you can use thighs. Exactly. You know, anything, anything your little heart desires. And you can add a little bit more grain or change the grain a little bit uh, to, to just change up the flavor a little bit. Um, but our, our soup is ready. The... Um, the pearl barley on the bottom is uh, sits on the bottom a little bit and it's uh, but it's cooked it's nice looks good and normally I would uh, take the meat take a little bit of the meat off the bone and put it in the soup and garnish it with uh, nice parsley if you want uh, to to add a little bit more color to it um, I'm gonna taste my soup now take a little barley with it Mmm, tastes exactly how Krupnik is supposed to be tasting. This is classic Polish flavor. I hope you try it at home and feed it to your family. They'll love you for it. Would you like to try some? Uh, as soon as we're done filming, I'm eating half it's, that pot. It's lunchtime. We'll see you next time, guys. Smacznego!